Tonight marks a new beginning for each of us, the dawning of another academic year. It is also the 125th chapter of our school's history, a chapter that will chronicle our collective and collaborative work for future generations. We are all celebrants of and witnesses to these festive moments, sounding the clarion notes of yesterday and today. This convocation, like many others at Yale and peer institutions, has often been a time, quote, to look backward with pride and forward with hope, end quote, of Robert Frost. We have reason to be proud. Many of our successes, and indeed many transformative moments in history, have had to encourage and encounter challenges and opportunities, but all were followed by the determination to move forward from a mere beginning. Those who conceived this school and delivered an endowment to secure its establishment in 1894 believed fervently in the importance of music at Yale. Members of the entering and returning classes of the School of Music, you are physically surrounded this evening by the nurturing embrace of faculty, staff, patrons, friends, and school and university leaders. This was purposefully arranged so you can sense and feel their devotion to this place, to Yale, to you, and to your work here and beyond. Such commitment emanates from a bold and visionary legacy, the tenacious work of many generations seeking to fulfill Yale's aspirations of improving our world. Among those aspirations is this school's firm resolve to ensure the birthright of music for humankind without regard for who an individual is, what they look like, and where they are from. Your Yale citizenship carries the responsibility, and note that I did not say privilege. Your Yale citizenship carries the responsibility of considering your dreams and how your distinctive talents will contribute to our common goals. Imagine where you want to be in a few years and ask yourself how your vision might benefit those around you at that time and in that place. Most of you sought admission to the School of Music for a combination of three reasons. Free tuition. <laughs> the opportunity to study with an internationally renowned teacher. And spending several years in the intellectually stimulating environment that is Yale University. Looking to your future, the future of our discipline, and your lofty dreams, I want to focus on the gifts of Yale that await you. Gifts that will deepen your artistic sensibilities and sensitivities. Gifts that will unlock and engage your minds and hearts. And gifts that will rekindle and perhaps perpetuate your passion for learning by helping you rediscover your sense of wonder. To claim these gifts, you must leave the practice rooms, the rehearsal studios, and the concert halls, and allow your curiosity to take you on your own journey to realize your dreams. Let me suggest a few stops on your trip. The Yale University Art Gallery and Center for British Art, world-class galleries and teaching museums, Lectures by global leaders, from Supreme Court justices visiting the law school to artists, authors, and international decision shapers at the Jackson Institute and the School of Management. Libraries that are, quite frankly, extraordinary. Homes to such treasures as the Horowitz and Shaw archives in the Gilmore Library to Verdi's own handwritten diaries in the Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library. Ice hockey at the Whale, <laughs> or American football, 
where you can be astonished, even shocked, by the music and shows of the Yale Precision Marching Band. <laughs> The Music in Schools Initiative, a program in which you can serve as a teaching artist and have your lives forever changed by what you receive from a child's smile and sparkling eyes because you gave time and yourself to a dream larger than yours. Okay, you get the idea. Design your own itinerary and map for your journey. Most of this entering class will spend fewer than 700 days here. And the returning class has already spent half of that predicted time on campus. Time is limited, and the excitement of a purposeful life in music comes from what we do with our time. The wonder of your Yale experience can be that here, you will make sense of your artistic, intellectual, spiritual, and social impulses by discovering your unique musical voices and human capacities. I implore you, I urge you to embark fully on this Yale journey. Not to do so would amount to stealing from yourself. John O'Donohue, in one of his blessings, has this to say. Though your destination is not yet clear, you can trust the promise of this opening. Unfurl yourself into the grace of beginning that is at one with your life's desire. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon you will be home in a new rhythm, for your soul senses the world that awaits you. Throughout history, music has given hope to people around the world. Carry that assurance on your journey at Yale and far, far beyond tonight's beginning. Thank you. Thank you.